Hi guys, my name is Paul. I'm here for Joyrider TV and for next episode of Show Us Your Cat. Okay, hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with another episode of Show Us Your Cat. Uh, today I am out the back on a Hobie 16 in Vasiliki Bay. Uh, my, just jump out onto the trapeze at that point. Now you may have noticed there has been a little bit of a lack of action on Joyrider TV of late. Apologies for not keeping you tuned in to what's been going on so much. If you want a little bit more, a little bit more regularly, you can check out my Instagram if you want to, if you like that sort of thing. But uh, we just have been so busy on the Wild Wind Beach. This has actually been my first day where I've got the cameras on the boat and uh, going out for a look. But uh, there has been some very good sailing going on with these newly reconditioned 16s. If you haven't seen all of the process that's been going on, you can check out any of the videos that have gone out in the last month and you'll see a lot of talk about rubber. Had some great sailing with uh, Ian. And with Anna from the northeast of England. Great stuff there. And then with Roberto from Italy, we were absolutely flying. Absolutely beautiful conditions for the 60 in Vasiliki Bay. And then of course, with David, where we laid down the first biggest speed of the season with a speed of 24.7 knots. Quite a lot of wind. And then one of the other notable days out that we've had so far, I went out with Indy. Today I'm sailing with all time wild wind instructor, sailing superhero Indy, to see how fast we can go with the Hobie 16, with the Easy Junior sail. And yes, we've only got one camera. But unfortunately my camera mount broke just as we were going out. So I've got some of the audio, which sounds a bit like this. Indy's holding a large percentage of the power. Indy's job at the moment is constantly uh, uncleating the jib. Gust straight, it's the breath of Zeus. Whoa, there's some acceleration there. Okay, so on the Locosys GW60, which of course is the official speed watch of Joyrider TV, we got a top speed of 23.63. And for, for 100 meters, 21.54, one cap size, and uh, one great tale to yeah, tell. So this is of course Show Us Your Cat, where we're gonna be taking a look at your boats, where it is that you sail them. If you'd like to show us your cat, then all of the information of what you need to do is in the description below. Just check that out, send me some pictures or some video. That would be very nice. And then finally, before we start having a look, we have of course got the 2022 Global Speed Stick competition running if you're going out sailing take a gps device with you let me know how fast you went and then you'll get on the speed stick again everything you need to do is in the video description below so now let's jump in and take a look at what we're looking at in this week's show us your cat on joyrider tv we're gonna start off by looking at what I'm gonna call the bargain of the week, uh, where we have Bennett in Sacramento, California, and he's just picked up this 1979 Hobie 16 for just $100. And I think she is certainly looking solid. What a great find. Okay, and now here's a question 
for the community. I did raise this in the Q&A as well. We had Heinz, who is in Switzerland, and he has this very low down mast track opening on his Hobie 16. How many of you have the same thing on yours? Put it in the comments below. He's actually got a regular mast track opening as well. Very unusual, I would say. I spotted also in the pictures that he sent me this absolutely fantastic looking mast support for trailering. Uh, he said he actually got this from H2O Sensations, which is a very good shop in Switzerland, who also incidentally stock the Malcheski Pro Joyride Attila extensions. Check those guys out. Now we're heading across the Atlantic to the USA to Copper Harbor, Michigan, where we have Dan and Adam. They sail on Lake Superior, which is the biggest lake in the world. Come on, get back here, there it is. Dan says that once the ice melts, on a good day, the water can be as warm as 65 degrees. That's 18 degrees centigrade. They've got this Hobie 18, and if anybody else sails in the area, they'd really like to know about it so that maybe you guys can hook up, go out sailing together. I think you'll agree though, this sailing looks nothing short of epic. But then a little bit late easing the sheet leads to a very chilly swim. But that doesn't seem to deter the team. Great stuff guys. <laughs> and then we're heading across the border to Canada to Okananagan Lake where we have Eric who's got this 1980 Hobie 16 which he bought last August he says so far he's just getting the hang of it first time out he says I capsized and turtled and I was not paying attention because I was messing around with the jib sheets. Realised I was flying a hull in a gust. So, and then before you knew it, Eric was swimming. First cap size, very important to get that one chalked up. Um, a really good habit to get into on your boat, however experienced it is, is whatever you're doing on your boat, if you're the person steering the boat, your primary focus needs to be on steering the boat and adjusting the main sheet. That is what is gonna keep you from going for the capsize. But a great lesson there for Eric. Thanks very much, Eric, for getting involved. And then we're heading back to California to Folsom Lake, where we have Dave. Hi, everyone. And this is the Flying Kiwi. First round of the season. She's a 1974 Kobe Cat. Original sales. Got some high tech <laughs> hardware there. All kinds of fun. Put a new trampoline on it. And uh, pretty low tech. All vintage. Replace the lines. As you can see, the rudders don't like to stay up, but I kind of tie them off there. And uh, I've done a couple of hole repairs. I tapped, tapped this. That's rock hard. No trapeze yet. This is only my seventh sail, first one of the season. And first time sailing it solo. I do have a paddle. <laughs> I do have my phone in that dry bag over there. And yes, I use my life jacket as a, uh, a bumper. So this is a 1974 Hobie 16 called the Flying Kiwi. I think you can work out why that is. He got given this by his good friend, very good friend, Paul. And Paul always kept the boat in immaculate condition as we can see here. 
very good condition for the age. So instead of bits of rope, I've used Velcro. Because I figured if it's good enough for the space shuttle, it's good enough for the flying Kiwi. Everything's Velcro. If there's anyone else in North California, then Dave would really like to know about it. So do put it in the comments so you guys can hook up, get out there, do a bit of sharing the wind. So there we go. Thanks to everybody who has been showing us their cats. Oh yeah, we've got Paul on the other 16 here. There goes Paul down the mine shaft. We're going to follow him. Show us your cat is now going to be slightly less regular and I will just put an episode together when I have what I consider to be enough content to make a really good episode. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.